Hi, I'm Luke Barr, and this big guy is Mac. And today on Pet Projects, we're gonna show you how to make this cat scratching post and pet penthouse. So stay tuned. Today, we're gonna make a fantastic cat scratching post. Here's the list of materials we're gonna need. Get a piece of plywood cut 18 by 18. You need to get some carpet or just take an old bath mat like we did here. You're also gonna need a four by four, two and a half foot post. Now a four by four is actually three and a half inches by three and a half inches, just be aware. We're gonna need power drill with a quarter inch bit. You're also need a couple quarter inch lag bolts and a fitting. You're gonna need some sisal rope. You need about 140 feet. Tape measure, good old fashioned hammer, an X-Acto knife and scissors. Get yourself a marker, some E6000 or some really strong adhesive, paint and primer two in one and a paintbrush. And last but not least, you can pick up one of these cubes. It's called a furniture cube. Most furniture stores will have them for you. So with all those materials, guys, it's time to get going. First thing we're gonna do is take our 18 by 18 piece of plywood. This piece of plywood here already has a hole drilled in the center. That's because we're already ahead of the game. So right in the center, right there at nine inches, obviously, both ways, put your dot. And the spade bit looks kind of like this with an extra point right on the center of it. And we're gonna drill kind of three quarters of the way through so that when we put our anchor, it's gonna lay flush and it's not gonna scratch up our floor. So once we've got that drilled in, the next thing we're gonna do, paint the edges of this. We're gonna drill a hole right in the top of this. Now I've already started one here, but if you measured just directly across that, you'd see that is right smack dab in the center. You can take your quarter inch lag bolt, and as you can see, that's gonna lay flush right down here on the backside. It's not gonna rub your floor. So we should suck it right in there, nice and flush. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our carpet. We've cut it, measured it 18 by 18. You can kind of see here on the backside. And then you can also see right in the center, I've made a small square here, three and a half inches by three and a half inches. We'll cut out the remaining so we have our perfect right there, 18 by 18 piece of carpet. I'm gonna attempt to use my X-Acto knife here. Looks like we did all right here. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this carpet down. Feel free to be somewhat generous with this as your cat's gonna be prying on it and you really want it to stay down. I feel like a cat right now. We're gonna use some glue. Now once that glue kind of sets in a little bit, that should hold our rope there. And then we can kind of tack in the rope with a couple of finishing nails. And that should give us the hold we need. You're gonna take this rope, keep it tight and taut. And you can just carousel it all the way up. It's gonna take us about 140 feet of this rope, 70 of which we've dyed blue. But once again, we'll glue this. We'll tack it with a little finishing nail. I've actually got one already finished over here and we staggered ours blue, the natural color, and then blue again to match the carpet. Now this is our cube. We're gonna take our spade bit and drill through here. We'll take our other quarter inch lag bolt. And then we'll just take our drill. Last thing to do, just deck it out in style. Choose whatever you think your pet would like. For me, PETA, don't worry, it's not real fur. And there we have our Cat Scratch Post Penthouse. Hey, thanks for watching Pet Projects, everybody. On behalf of myself and Mac, we hope you enjoyed learning how to make this cat scratching post in Pet Penthouse. We'll see you next time. Follow us on social media at BeMakeful. Check out our website, BeMakeful.com for more DIY projects. And of course, if you are doing your own, use the hashtag PetProject.